Here we are at another Friday. Now, this was a really fast week. Wow, filled with a lot of things. Everyone was back to work and school this week. Late start for most people on Tuesday due to the snow. The market was all over the place this week, but ended on a positive note. You are listening to The Financial Chick Show, and I am The Financial Chick. My name is Denise Snowstrom, the CEO and owner of Diversified Financial Solutions, a full-service independent financial planning firm located in Medford. Your Financial Chick is here to help you make better financial decisions and choices to help you improve your life and reduce your anxiety and stress about money. If you want to know about me or my firm, you can check out my website at financialchickshow.com. We're also on Facebook and Instagram at Diversified Financial Solutions. So like our pages to get updates and see what is happening. So did you catch the song at the start of the show? Well, I am delighted to have the person responsible for that song with me on the air today. He is a repeat guest, so I'm thrilled to have Felipe Rose, one of the original members of the Village People, on the show with me today. Hey, Denise. <laughs> <laughs> it's Friday. And here he is. We've made it. it Hello, is everyone. Hey, I'm back. This is great. This is feel good Friday, right? Yes, yes. I mean, because it's like the times are a little bit. It was crazy. It was a crazy yeah. week too. Oh my lord! So um, I'm happy you're here. Thank I'm so you. Excited. Yeah. Well, so, so. I'm back to uh, happy to see you, and uh, we've been partying uh, last summer, and then a few weeks ago. You saw me at Windows on the Lake. Yes, in Ronkonkoma. And, uh, and ladies show. and gen- ladies and gentlemen, in the show, I I called her out and I said, and she's responsible for my investments. If it wasn't for her, I would be pumping gas down the road. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think is so sweet. That was I, I was man, I, I I didn't get it on video, but now I got it on my radio show. Oh, there we go. <laughs> right, right. So thank you, thank you. That was well, very, very kind and very sweet. And the show was amazing. Thank you. And uh, it really is good. And well, let's talk a little bit about the about the the song uh, Dance Again. Oh, so well, how did that yeah. happen? Wow. Uh, well, dealing through PTSD during the pandemic Mm -hmm. and uh, as an artist we have a way to tap into our feelings and more importantly when we write what we're feeling uh, we best sometimes capture what the real message is Mm -hmm. and because there was no one dancing in the clubs the clubs were closed I mean everyone was home (laughs) everyone was home dancing on TikTok (laughs) they moved those kids over here we come (laughs) and DJs were playing all over you know social media so everyone was home and I decided with my producer uh, uh, and songwriter Tyler Safford and, and Benny Harrison uh, let's write something. He said, well, you should write, you know, you write something about how you're feeling. What do you want to sing about? And I said, well, no one's dancing. I'd love for everyone to dance again. Mm-hmm. And he said, well, that's a good title. Let's do that. And in five hours, we did the song. That's great. Then I produced the video, and then it was released. Well, tell everybody, because the video is great. Tell everybody how Thank they can you. see the, the video. The video is on uh, Felipe Rose, uh, on YouTube, Dance Again. It is uh, the Felipe Rose YouTube channel. Uh, it's called Felipe Rose Fan Page. But the video by itself is Felipe Rose Dance Again. I love it. Well, okay, we're a little bit, uh, we're losing our, our uh, focus right now because we're at the airport and it seems like the alarms are going off. And it seems the alarms are going off at this point. So we're just going to keep plowing through. And, um, right, Mike, the engineer's like, I got nothing. Uh, so we're just going to keep rolling. They're and, not looking and, and listen, for me, are they? <laughs> when we talked about before, this is, this is the ebb and flow of life. It's not right. The ebb and flow of life is a little off right now. There's weird stuff Anything, going around. Thank you. Am no, I right? really. People are saying the most the cuckoo things and acting crazy. Uh-huh. And, yeah. uh, you know, it's like, oh, my God, and I'm even... Thinking out of the box saying, should I answer that email or or that text or just simply leave it alone? (laughs) It's best to leave it and walk away. Sometimes, sometimes. So, okay, like I said, I don't know, you know, we're just going to keep rolling. Um, Yeah, no, well, my engineer's saying it's the airport and there's nothing we can do, which we know that. So we're just going to keep going. Sure. But let's go back. So dance again. Now, I'm a big fan because I love dancing. So we know that. that. And that (laughs) Well, I don't know if the listeners do, but now they do, right? Right. Um, you know, and dancing just makes you feel good, makes you happy. So, I mean, I, I love the words of the song. So, like I said, really, get out there, go on his uh, YouTube page, check out the video. 
It's really a feel good. And I didn't want the song to look like a Zoom video where everyone is all wearing either windows and you know they're all performing together in orchestras. There were a lot of those new songs that looked like Zoom. Mm -hmm. I actually sat down and really worked out and through a company, F-I-V-E-R-R, Fiverr, uh, purchased stock material. I reached out to uh, dancers that you can literally hire. I'll tell you, it was, it was good. Thank I mean, it you. Was very, it was really, and you know, it, the, the video, we don't really see that. I mean, back in the days, and we're able to date ourselves, right? <laughs> but MTV days, yeah. I mean, man, I, I would like tape them, and I'd watch them over, and have them memorized, watch that all day, and all night, that was like my thing, and you know, really don't see that. And no. having the video really enhances the, the song. Yeah, and I, and I feel that they, when, when the final, in the final analysis, that when the song was finished, I felt that it, the message and also help others because I was dealing with PTSD mm -hmm. because of the lockdown and living alone with my cat and you know well thank God he was there <laughs> I would have been hanging from a closet <laughs> no <laughs> no I'm sorry but I mean PTSD is very rough and when it comes on so the best thing to do is that I the medicine is get out of your head go mm -hmm. cook go sew go run get out of that feeling which is you know, and so hopefully the message, and many people wrote to me and said that helped me a lot. I was also feeling that same way. So when artists, they produce and write songs, we do it with the intention that it will someone else, it can help someone else, it can make someone else feel better, you know, and then that's, and really music is timeless because ladies and gentlemen, I think Denise knows this, Macho Man, the album, the other day was 45 years ago, released on, uh, at the end of February, on the 20th of February, 45 years ago. It does not awesome. seem like it. And you know, and, and the thing, and it was funny, the other day, um, this is a funny story, so Rob was in the bagel store getting some <laughs> breakfast, right? That's my, Rob's my husband. And um, he, he's sitting there, and he heard YMCA, and, and the, the girls, there were young girls at the counter, they were so excited, and they, they were like, they all knew the song, even though they were young. It, you know, that, that music from the village people resonates through all age groups, right? Yeah. But then, um, the next song was, and this is personal between you and I, Russ, Gloria Gaynor, I Will Survive, Aww. came on. And Rob was like, he was like, I'm, I'm, on my skin, he goes, I want to tell somebody, like, you know, I know Felipe, I and I know you. I Gloria Gaynor. I, took, I, I invited you guys to her Christmas party. Yes, and that was, that was so memorable and yeah. so amazing to be there, like, in her music room. Right. I mean, she didn't do I Will Survive that night because it was Christmas, but right. the Christmas songs were amazing. So, uh, you know, but you're right, music does make people happy. It, it, it brings you back to time in, in, in your life. It's timeless, it's timeless, and I have a here that are, that are with me, because I'm out here visiting, and I'm with my uh, producer, sound engineer, and his wife, Johnny Iovino, and Mary Iovino, yeah, yeah. and I married them, and now it turns out, that was five years ago, um, and so again, music is timeless, and then love also can really creep up fast, and suddenly you turn around and go, holy smokes, Five years, mm -hmm. so now we have to do a revamp. All right, well, talk about that. Party. So you're, you're a multifaceted dude. So, like, now, so what? What else do you do? How do you? So, you're a. I, you I, marry them. I, I am an ordained minister. There you go. Fifteen weddings under my belt. And now it looks like we're going to be doing the, the revow, and then he, see, he yelled out, well, we're going to Vegas, and I said, oh, Lord. <laughs> um, but uh, um, I'm a songwriter. I have a podcast show. Which yeah, is, so I want to talk a little bit about that, but we're getting close to the which, break. So which we'll, is we'll, called the Disco we'll, Chronicles and Beyond. Last week I had Tony Orlando. But we want to talk more about okay. that. Yeah, we'll talk more, more of that about the, after the break for sure. But, um, but yes, I am here with Felipe Rose, formerly of the Village People, the Indian, Amer uh, Native American character. And, and client. Uh, and, and my client. I, like, he's got so many different things. And um, there's so much more to talk about. But uh, you're listening to the Financial Chick Show, and we're coming into the break. But we're going to listen a little bit more to that song, Dance Again, because, again, let's all dance and have a good time because life is tough, man. We need some levity. We'll see you after the break. What is the word you use? What's that? What is the word that you use with Johnny? That this week is a what? Yeah, this the week flow was got a whack. A flow, a what? A oh, the ebb and flow, flow is I've, way off. I've, got a whack. I've never heard that. Oh yeah, the ebb and flow of life. The ebb and flow, yeah. the rhythm. You've heard it? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, of course. I mean, you thought. You, what else could happen? What? Jesus. 
I mean, it's time I've heard that. Just don't want any she plane landing it, she outside. She said it as we were walking in across the street. Yeah. She said ebb and flow when yeah. Mary said, you know, blah. It's out of whack. It's been an ebb and, ebb and, fl- ebb and it's, flow. It's like everything is a little bit off. Any, anything that you, you know, like you say, okay, well, I'm going to do this and anticipate this happening. Mid-day don't ever think, like everything is different now. I'm sorry, what? Minute and a half. Minute and a half. Thank you. So we got like 10 minutes after this, so. Okay. This, like our Facebook fans, how are you? Hello, everybody. <laughs> <We don't wanna laughs> <do that>. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, we'll talk about the Disco Chronicles and whatever else. Well, quickly, and then let's talk about, you know, how good you look. And then, of course, you know, how uh, my finances and your, with the investments and growth have kept me going even when there could, was no work. Oh, my lands up. Here we go again. I just can't. Battle station. There is no one even here. I know. The alarms are going off, ladies. Well, it's probably something gentlemen. with construction. They right? must Don't be testing. Think? Probably. Forty-five seconds. So weird. I don't know. But so I got no. Who's sending a nuke here? What the hell is going on? Oh, it's just got <laughs> Listen, anything that can happen the will happen. The destination capital of the world. <laughs> 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 I do love this airport, though. Yeah. I got to be honest. Like, I'm, I'm flying out on Thursday. I have to go down to North Carolina for. A so business. you use this airport. It's. 20. Welcome back. This is Denise Snowstrom, the financial chick. My company is in Medford, and you can reach me at six three one seven five eight eighty six ninety one or visit my website at financialchickshow.com. I'm here to help you on your financial journey. Over the years, things change, and I'm here to help you navigate all those changes. So today, we are with. Felipe Rose, formerly of the Village People, but now uh, a superstar uh, again, and he, you know, doing his own thing, having a podcast and uh, a one-man show. So you want to talk a little bit about what what's going down, what's happening? Yeah, the, the podcast was also born out of the during the pandemic. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I was uh, I figured okay, uh, someone was pitching me. You know, what you need? Why don't you do a podcast show and this and that and. And talk about what you like, what you know. And then I figured, you know, there isn't anything about the disco and and the real meaning of w- the real clubs and the and the and the things that happen. So with that, I then started getting people that are in the music industry, songwriters, producers, recording engineers, people like Linda Clifford, uh, uh, Carol Williams, and then the discussion that came out of. Uh, out of disco, what happened to disco? Where did it go? I even had Steve Dahl from the record burning party in Kaminsky Park. We're the same age, and he was the first guest. So I wanted to know that you actually know when you were burning the records um, that it was like burning books because that literally and radio Insane. that switched this uh, through the switch on disco, and suddenly disco Absolutely. was dead. Um, that being said. All of the guests were always talking about the disco. Disco, where did it, where did it go? It, uh, it morphed into went underground to become house music and the electric funk and all of this. But freestyle and dance and all of this. And so then, people because people were talking about music in other genres, I changed the name to the Disco Chronicles and Beyond. And then last okay. week, last week we had Tony Orlando. We're all oh, friends, high, a yeah, ribbon. and he's great. He's a great guy and doing very well. And the reason why I'm so excited that I'm here to say this to you is that during the pandemic, it was very um, well. Obviously, no work could be found anywhere, and there were people that were not working and they were desperate, like trying to find work and doing what they could. And um, with in my situation, I was able to tap into some of my investments to keep things flow and keep things going because mm-hmm. if there's no money coming in then you know you, if money's coming in you don't need to tap into your investment right. but because that wasn't happening but the other good thing about when it, your money's invested well and then there's growth and you can roll it over well then yes I have the liberty to work on my projects work on my one man show and work on the single there's now a new one I'm coming out in May wow. That's what you are. The show, there's going to be two shows. One dance club show, the Studio 54 Dance dance Party with Felipe Rose. And then a more dinner club, uh, Joe's Pub in New York uh, with my new musical director with musicians. But all of that allows you the freedom if you invest well 
to tap into well I mean I need money for costumes well okay well let me go do that so a lot of things happen even with your house and your car or sometimes medical and all that and you have money to say how am I doing but I know that I called you in the height of the pandemic <laughs> and you were pulling your hair out because people were freaked out yeah. like was, what's going on with my right. money you know right, right. Uh, it was there was just so much uncertainty, but uh, you know, yes, in the world. But we really, um, it actually wasn't a terrible year, of 2020. Believe it or not, from a from a financial standpoint. No, right. no, and that's why it was nice to roll over some of that money mm -hmm. uh, into another IRA account. But that being said, I loved being home alone, regardless <laughs> of what I was dealing with PTSD. And then I realized. God, I really don't like people. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm saying that only from the point of view that yeah. no one bothered me. I was home. Mm -hmm. you and know? you got to focus and, and do I the things focused, that you wanted to do. And I asked, I asked that guy, uh, you know, Felipe, what do you want to do? What's, what's the next thing? Mm -hmm. You know, after dance again, what's, what's the next thing? How do I reboot myself back? And the thing was to pull the show together start producing the show together with Johnny Irino. Mm -hmm. He's my producer and sound engineer. And, um, you know, the thing is, and I don't want to blank out because when you become a senior, you forget two things. Oh, no. Yeah, you <laughs> lose your memory and... What was the other thing? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so that being said, I want to thank you for helping me navigate myself financially through you and the company. Hey, listen, I mean, you know, we've known each other for a long time. Over 20, almost 25 you, yeah, years? Yeah, since 97. And then, you know, got you over the, the, the hurdle of, you know, transitioning to a new uh, life, and which has really become quite exciting for you. It was scary so, at the time. Well, you know, but it shows that there's life after, you know, people think like, oh, God, this is what I've done. I'm not going to be able to do anything else. But you've shown yourself and, and many, many others that you can do that. And uh, you you built a, a great a great thing for yourself. Hey, by I, the way, she's looking amazing. She looks beautiful on that that blouse. I, what I, is I, that? I wore this today. This is um, it has feathers. It's actually a feather type of uh, thing. Okay. It was a, a local. Um, it's it's beautiful. Same yeah. Boutique. It was a boutique, which unfortunately in the Biden's economy went under. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, she's still, but she she doesn't have the the brick and mortar anymore. You know, she's doing everything online. But yeah, she's wonderful, wonderful. Clothing. Listen, vintage is back. Vinyl is back, and vintage clothes clothing is back. Because you know what? That's when stuff was good. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and, and, and Gen <laughs> Z and the good time. And the Gen Z genera generation now are are driving stick shift cars. So well, wow. Well, well, more the you know the. Uh, Car companies have realized that, you know what, let's start making cars with stick shifts for the Gen Z generation and they're and they're ready to jump on those cars. Interesting. So what's old what's old is new again. All all day long. All day long. <laughs> you know? It, it's crazy. But um so what else? Tell me what else is well, you know, who else do you have on your podcast? Oh that's, I think that's kind of an interesting thing. You know, people love the nostalgia. People want to know the, 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 the background story. You know, we hear the songs, we know the people, we know the names, but we don't know the real uh, core. So I think that's what's so great about the podcast. So what are some people, who would you say was your best oh, guest? Oh, my best guest, Linda Clifford, but then Tony Orlando, but then you have like Ray Caviano, who was the wonder kid with Warner Brothers, who uh, he did independent um, uh, promoting Record record companies with Marlin, TKA, uh, Ooh, uh, TK Records, mm -hmm. uh, and and then Warner Warner gave him like a five million dollar deal to start his own label, RFC Records. There's John Luongo, another amazing music industry guy. Steve Thompson, seven time Grammy Award recording engineer, Grammy winning seven seven Grammys, yeah. and so everyone brings in a different. Uh, in their space, they bring in their own remembrance of what disco was, where it was, what they're doing now, and they tell their story. And it's interesting because I want to know. They know about me. I want to know about everyone else. And that's what, and you know, and, and a lot of people want to do, want to know also because that was a time. It goes back. It's memories for all of us. A time where you know the, the seventies were fun and uplifting, and people were just free. And <laughs> but because I was on, but because I was on stage a lot, I to hear what went on in Studio Fifty Four when I wasn't there after I left and with, <laughs> with the Village People. It was really exciting to to know all these things that uh, things that happened and the clubs and all that while I'm touring the world. Mm -hmm. So while the, I'm a, I'm on the outside looking out on the inside looking out and they're on the outside looking in and to hear their point of view of what they went through and how they navigated the waters 
during the er disco era well, is really fascinating. It really is. Awesome. And the memories that the people, you know, they share and the best music that they love, the disco records, the, you know, and um, while I'm saving some other guests to, uh, to end the show, well, uh, this isn't the third season, but I've got a big, big cel uh, celebration of, a, of an artist that retired from a group um, that everyone knows, and it's Antoine Travaris, and he retired and he left the guys and he just said it's time at 81. All right, we're going to wrap up, but I want everybody to be able to reach out to your podcast. Let's give the listeners another, uh, you know, give Hey, give thank you. It's Friday. Yeah, it is Friday, but tell them how to uh, listen to the podcast again. Uh, it is on Spotify.com, Anchor.com, and it's on his own YouTube channel, The Disco Chronicles and Beyond. Love it. Have well, a listen. great Friday, everyone. Thank you. And thank you so much for coming, Felipe. This My has pleasure. Been awesome. yes. And uh, and we got Mary and, and Johnny. Thank you for being here also. And uh, listen, everybody, have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you next Friday. <laughs>